What's up, you guys? This is David Jones with Native Outdoors. Man, I'm doing something today I thought I would never be able to do. I have bought me a brand new Brownie Expo 300 Wind Mag Hill Canyon Speed. What? I've been looking at weapons between this one and 6.5 cream for months and months. I don't know about you guys, I'm the type of person, man, I love this gun, but man, do I want to spend that? Man, do I, do I not? You know what, the heck with me. Man, I work hard, treat myself to a beautiful, beautiful weapon, guys, and that's what I'm doing here today. It has a 26 inch fluid burrow, guys. It has a muzzle brake on it from the factory. This weapon is not too heavy. It's like six pound, 13 ounces. Put your scope on it. It could go anywhere from seven to roughly eight pounds. When you're walking 10, 12, maybe 20 miles trying to find that beautiful elk or that mill deer, this will be the weapon for you guys. I've never shot this gun. I've seen a lot of reviews about this, this, this gun for years. I've been looking, looking, looking. I will be shooting this weapon a as well in the next couple weeks when I get my new scope on it. I do like the whole total length of this gun, guys. It's 46.75. In the construction world, what I'm in, that's 46 and 3 quarters all day long. 26 inch fluid burrow. The length of pull on this weapon, guys, is, I think it's 13.63, the total length of pull. I think it fits well for me. For one I like, has a gold trigger. This gold trigger from the fact that it has been set at four pound pull. You can adjust this pull rate from three to five to your liking. To me, mother weapons I have in my home, Everything's roughly three to four pounds. So me, I won't just it two or five. I think that's a little too much for me and my likings. But hey, whatever makes you happy, you can adjust this trigger from, like I said, from three to five. I do like the bolt. It is a six degree bolt. And the reason being a six degree bolt is for faster recycling on your ammo. You're allowed to hit this bolt, guys, while your weapon is on safety. Hit this bolt, disengage that spent round or the round hasn't been spit. The one just been clicked on you that that worst feeling, guys. I love Inflex Technology Recoil Pad 300 wind mag. It's gonna have a little kick to help with that with the muzzle brake they put on this weapon. It's gonna take a lot of that recoil out. It's not gonna kick like a mule. It's not gonna kick you as bad. Muzzle brake makes it a little bit louder, but hey, that's fine with me because I always wear an ear protection. Also, what I like about this weapon is I've took one of the plastic people, pieces off the back where you can see it has been drilled and tapped for four bolts you can put in for your scope mounting. Um, a lot of your other weapons has been drilled and tapped for two. I like it for the extra where I think it's great for if you bump your weapon and don't knock it out so bad. So hope and pray that doesn't happen. Hit against a tree limb and knock it out, man. You gotta make that two or three, four, five hundred yard shot, then you'll scope it off. They help with that with the extra bolts to help make sure your scope is secured, firm and spot, guys. Another thing I bought for this gun, I bought a Diamondback Tactical. This Diamondback is a 416 by 44 with a 30 millimeter tube. I know it's not gonna bring in a light as a, a one inch tube, but around here, where I hunt as I'm shooting roughly, anywhere from 50 to 100 yards, and where I've been hunting at for the last few years, a lot of my deers come out well before dark, so I wouldn't have that issue with low lighting. I've never bought this Diamondback technical scope for my rifles, any one of my rifles. This will be new to me. Super stoked about getting in the woods with this weapon, getting on range with this weapon to check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the Brownie X-Bolt Hill Canyon 300 wind mag. Leave a comment below, guys.